get ready here to start disassembling the CVT cover so we can change our belt, to new barriero, clean it, everything up and we got the new beautiful belt from Piaggio. This is the OM belt. This lasts longer than any other aftermarket belt. Let's get into it. So all the tools you're gonna need, you wanna start by having a couple of bottle brake cleaners so you can clean out the, all the components, the, the inside of the CVT cover. You also wanna make sure that you get yourself the right tool to do the job. You wanna, this is the, the tool to remove the clutch, tool to remove the, the barriero with the spacer and the nut. We got the replacing new nut for the barriero, which is always good to replace once you remove it the first time. All you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver, a six millimeter Allen key, obviously a torque wrench, so you can put everything at the, at the right torque, a bigger wrench, a smaller one. Also, you're gonna need the eight millimeter socket with the extension arm, a 19 millimeter socket to remove the barriero and the clutch nut, and a 10 millimeter. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start by removing this panel to be able to to do that, we need to remove our foot rest here, it's on the way. Then you got a single fastener here in the bottom, and you want to grab your 10 millimeter socket, and you want to find the knot that is right here in, on the back. You also want to have a hand some middle pliers. remove that fastener right there and that one over there and you're gonna remove that one over there case if you have the original cover you can just like take it out but on my case I have this moving one the nut with the washer First thing you want to check when you remove it, this bearing right here, you want to make sure that's very smooth, right? This one is very nice. I don't feel or hear anything going on there. So once we are in, inside here in the CVT cover, the first thing you want to do is to keep things nice and clean. Just put your lipstick on it so you don't get any dust or anything. The next thing you want to check after the bearings is this. This want to move like freely, you know, it doesn't want to have any play. It's very nice and smooth. Grab our tool to remove the barrier. You got five millimeter Allen key. So you wanna go ahead and place that into the slot. And you have actually two slots where you can place this tool. You can actually place it right here or place it right here. You wanna put the washer first and you wanna put the tool and then you wanna put the spacer in. When you have set that correctly, it's nice and snug in there. Just move any, anything around. You wanna grab your, your big wrench, 19 millimeter socket. You can go ahead and remove your tool. This is the knot that we're gonna be replacing with the new one. You wanna replace always that knot when you remove it. I'm not sure the reason why, but the manufacturer always recommend this, so you can throw this one to the trash. Then you got a washer here with a special, I don't know if you can see clearly from there, but if you wanna grab a marker, don't forget the position of it because you have like a rounded part that it sits in place. I don't know if you notice it. See, this part is like sticking out a little bit more and this is like going into the inside. If you can tell the difference between them, you can just like put a marker, put a mark on it. So it's facing, the one is facing to the front. That other washer, you got those two washers. So you wanna put those in the side. You just wanna remove it uniformly doesn't look too bad you can feel those groove in there you got 8,000 miles so it's actually not too bad here but I yeah, recommended to replace like 12,000 miles I believe a washer here Remove that washer here we can remove the, the actual belt there we go and actually remove it and the old belt now your barrier Okay, 
so we have our our components here ready for cleanup you can see how dirty this is we're gonna be also cleaning the clutch we can still see we have a uh, still plenty of light on this clutch so we're not gonna need to replace it you're just gonna put a, a bit of grease here on these bearings and you know make sure everything is nice and, and grease make sure the seals are, are good because we're also gonna be open this up so we can install the new polini spring so well, we're gonna start cleaning all this great stuff you can use brake cleaner or acetone or soapy water anything you want i'm gonna be using some chemical gloves i recommend using some glove with the brake cleaner because i think it's pretty strong and also a toothbrush don't forget to put your safety goggles because you don't want to be spraying you know brake cleaner into your face You want to grab your number 80 sandpaper and you want to sand down all around there here so you break that glaze. You just want to go with the sandpaper. Also with the, with the barrier, you want to grab your, your sandpaper number 80 and you want to break the glaze. You know, you Go around it like that. Hey, that's all you want to do. See? Just make it break that glaze and just sand it around like that slightly. It should be ready to go. Same with this end. And that's it. That's all you want to do. It break the glaze. You also want to sand down this the, the pads with the with the sandpaper. I'm gonna go over a little bit like that. Over. You want to remove these rubber pieces if you're using the brake cleaner so you don't want to damage those rubber pieces. So. Break the glaze on the barrier on the slider as you can see here then you can proceed and install your weight the weights always you want to keep in mind install the weight is that the metal part this metal surface see how this one is a closed end and this is like an open end you want to always face the metal end clockwise you can see that the shoes have like a, a, a pointed part and a rounded part all the pointed part 
it was facing to the top like that so you want to go ahead and put the shoes see that's the right way not like this see, it doesn't go you just only go one way so once you have your your shoes ready there you want to slide that uniformly like that and you want to grab everything like a sandwich you want to put your chaff it doesn't matter what size it goes it's very symmetrical so you grab like that with like a sandwich and you slide it in all the way to the back and then you can swap your, your chaff into place and that's it we're gonna apply a little bit of the grease with the polini we're gonna take advantage and we're gonna apply grease to those bearings here in the clutch because those need to be greased since this is a really high quality grease we're gonna use that to fit those bearings here After you have applied a good amount of grease in there, we take advantage that we pull in and send our nice high quality grease and we apply that all inside there. Now we're gonna proceed and put the belt. We got our new belt here from Piaggio. We're gonna be installing the Piaggio because this one people claim to be the, the one that lasts longer. You wanna pay attention to those hardware that you have here. You wanna put those pointing towards the front of the scooter. The way you're gonna do this, you're gonna press down the belt first into the slot here so we're gonna press this down here put the bell in the middle of the on the both plates and then we're gonna proceed and mount everything in place maybe you can use a rack because these these things are pretty sharp so you can put your your hands more comfortably and then you want to twist that like that see there you go. now once you have your your belt inside the clutch you want to come down here and slide that in Turn up the bell. There we go. You can grab your cap after you sand it down and you you know break that glaze. It's nice and clean. You you wanna grab your washer, the one that was here before, remember? You're gonna grab that and place it in here into that little gap. And then you wanna slide this in. In there. Maybe you got the two washers, remember? You got the flat one, it goes all the way flat in there and then you got this remember that the shape of this one it goes into certain position this part the part that goes like in rounder into the inside goes fencing in and the rounded part that is like into the outside goes facing out like that okay now you want to pull those two and bring your your new knot get the starter some people like to put some lock tie in here right now i don't have any so i'm not gonna apply any just yet i'm gonna do it later then you put your knot there and then we're gonna look for the torque wrench and put that there at the right torque i'm gonna put our belt your drum belt slide that in and it should be good to go be ready to put the correct torque Once that is there, we're gonna torque that between 60 and 65 foot pounds. So we're gonna proceed and put our tongue set or torque ring 65. I always like to put a little more than we actually need to. I always like to make things tight. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into 65. Go ahead and that. Remove our tool and save this in a safe place for your next service. I always like to put the, 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 the foot pump there so I don't forget them. And we're gonna proceed and torque and mount the CVT cover. As you can see, I'm only using the impact to just get the starter. And then I just come here with the, with the wrench and tie those down to about like 10 foot pounds. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Everything is nice and tight. So now that we have swapped the, the CVT cover, we can proceed and install our washer. It goes in here and then the nut in place. And then we're gonna turn that into 45 foot pounds. There we go. There we go. Okay, so 
So then, so we just, you have to install your CVT cover. The next thing will be to clean up the filter. You got this little filter. We're gonna give it a nice clean because it's all dusty. You see all that dust? Let's give it a nice clean. Let's rinse it with water, soap with water, let it dry, and swap it back in. We're gonna proceed and remove the filter. You need, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. You got fastener all of these holes right here, and there is a single one here. And then here in the top, you got two thumb nuts that you can want on. Sometimes they're like really tight. Maybe you can get access from the top and help you a little bit. You got these two here in the top, stop nuts. And then you can pull it out, remove it like this. And as you can see here, we installed before the Malosi filter, not too bad. We're gonna give it a like, quick clean with soapy water. We're gonna also give it a nice clean to this. Let's proceed and do that. clean up our filters you see how nice looking they are got the nice malosi one and the little one nice and clean you see even my hand through we also have the the oem filter here see the difference the thickness of it that's why these have the performance because it let more air into the intake and since we have also a performance pipe this is the perfect choice for that so this filter is actually pretty pretty good you know i mean if you want to use it this is one of the best filters out there but also the malosi one is pretty pretty good so once you have all your filter or nice and oily clean up all this thing in the inside And that's it. That's how you simple service one of these Vespa. Actually the same process for the GT, GTS or GTV. If you got to the end of this video, congratulations for servicing your Vespa by yourself at home with basic tool. You see how simple it is. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars taking it to a dealer. You can do it as simple as that. So make sure you check down the links in the description below. Click the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more great content and share with your friends. See you in the next one. Thank you